Christ is risen. Faltamot Kristus. Hristos voskresen. The world today has more than a little in common with the time and place in which Jesus Christ ministered, both in the first century and the 21st century, people easily divide up into groups that hate one another and view their enemies as less than human. If someone is of the wrong religion, political party, or ethnic group, or stands on the opposite side of some issue, to many respond simply, simply with condemnation. We may wonder then how to demonstrate the new life of our uh, Lord's resurrection in a time when severe um, disagreements and divisions are so common both in our country and around the whole world. And Jesus Christ's conversation with the Samaritan woman provides a challenging example of how to interact with even the most unlikely people of how to overcome the barriers that exist between those who consider themselves simply enemies. Remember that the Jews hated the Samaritans as religious and ethnic half-breeds because they had mixed the ethnic heritage and the religion of Israel with that of the other peoples. No self-respecting Jew would have anything to do with a Samaritan, much less ask one for a drink of water. And the Samaritans knew that. But Jesus Christ did the unthinkable by striking up a conversation and asking for woman, asking the woman for a favor. And as a result of this unlikely conversation, a Samaritan woman came to recognize him as the Messiah, to believe in him, and to lead many of her own people to the faith. It's also interesting, not only did the Jews look down on the Samaritans, but the gender rules of the day meant that Jewish men simply did not speak with women in public. But this Messiah did not allow cultural divisions to shut off the Samaritan woman from his saving presence. And to make things even more complicated, this particular woman had been married five times and was then living with a man outside of marriage. She may have gone to the well at noon, an unusual time to do so, because the other women of her village did not want to associate with her. And the Lord knew that, knew these details, but did not condemn, judge, or ignore her as a result. Perhaps because he treated her as a beloved child of God. She acknowledged him, 
acknowledge to him the truth about her life. And they continued speaking about spiritual matters. No matter what we have done in the past, no matter our present weaknesses and challenges, no matter what anyone thinks or says about us, we have to remember that the Son of God has conquered death in order to bless, heal, and save all of us. Like the Samaritan woman, we have to acknowledge our brokenness and turn to Jesus Christ with faith, love, and hope for a new life. And then continue on the journey of discipleship. Even when we stumble or are tempted to give it up. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during this um, Easter season, we know that life eternal has uh, sprung from the empty tomb purely as a result of our Lord's love and mercy. And the good news of Pascha extends to the Samaritan woman of our day, and even to me and to you. So let us treat people who are around us as Jesus treated this Samaritan woman. And together with them, come to participate more fully in the brilliant life of his, life of his resurrection. Christ is risen. Christus. Christus Christus. Christus Christus. 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 Christ